Mom, would you mind shooting the video? I think you may double your salary. <laughs> At least. This is Schmalitics. I'm Dan Gordon, and I am standing here with Delane Easton. Delane Easton is running for governor of California. I am standing here with Delane Easton. Delane Easton is running for governor of California. Can you talk a little bit about your platform? Well, my platform is really got four basic pillars to it. First, that every kid should be entitled to a wonderful tomorrow. They should have a great education. They should also, though, have preschool and before that, childcare that's affordable for families. They should also have a chance to go to college, tuition free. We should not be spending. Uh, the, I have a young friend who two years at community college, two years at Berkeley, three years at law school, $248,000 worth of debt. That's just wrong. So making education a priority in California is first for me. Second, affordable health care for all. Health care should be a right, not a privilege of the wealthy. Third, we absolutely have to do something about affordable housing in the state of California. We have the largest number and percentage of uh, homeless people. And we also have the oldest kids living at home with their mothers, fathers. The truth is they can't afford to move out. And so uh, last but certainly not least, we often have to guarantee clean air and clean water for all. And you know what that means? That means we've got to ban fracking. We've got to get away from carbon fuels, from, you know, the hydrocarbons are killing us. They're killing the planet. And California needs to lead. Budgets are statements of values, and we are 41st in per pupil spending and number one in per prisoner expenditure. Those are not my values. They're not the values of anybody I know. Seriously, I've said this in large organizations and groups, and they, nobody thinks that's right. When I went to high school, we were fifth of the 50 states in per pupil spending tied with New York. Now, we are 41st, and New York spends more than twice as much per child. It's wrong. And so what we have to do is make the children and education a priority again. That's what your family does. You don't say, oh, honey, you can't go to college. I want a new car. What you say is, I guess we're going to have to put off that new car so you can go to college. How do you, you've been in uh, California politics for a while. You've held a lot of uh, offices from city council through assembly, then superintendent of public schools. How do we turn this ship around? This is not an easy fix. How do we change the system to make sure it's working for people? There are several things we must do. First, we have to revisit Prop 13. You know, it was intended to give homeowners relief when we set the cap at 1% of the value of a home. What it's really done is given a lot more relief to commercial and industrial. They never get reassessed. And so, you know, the idea was, somebody thought, 50% plus one of the stock turned over, they'd reassess the property. No, that doesn't happen. So did you know Disneyland is paying what they were paying in 1978? And so we... They pay less than an annual pass holder. Yeah, exactly. And well, probably. Uh, but seriously, if you actually do the numbers, what you'll see, they gave Prop 13 a go to give homeowners relief. But homeowners are now spending a big, are actually paying a bigger share of the property tax in California than they were back when it passed. So it really does need a fundamental change in Prop 13. And if you put that money, if you put that money on the ballot and you say we're going to increase and we're going to reassess every 10 years or something, and then we're going to put all that money into education, the voters would vote for it. So you, you know a lot of poems. Yes. My dad paid his kids a dollar for every poem they memorized. Here's a few lines from a poem that I like. Awake, for morning in the bowl of light has flung the stone that sets the stars to flight. The bird of time has but little way to fly, and lo, the bird is on the wing. I'm pretty sure Donald Trump tweeted the exact same thing this morning. I couldn't be positive, but I, I'm pretty sure. I, I have my serious doubts. <laughs> Dillian Easton, thank you very much. My great pleasure, Dan.